Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a quilt called Three Layer Cake. We've done this pattern before in a video, but I did almost the exact same colors that are on the pattern there, and I wanna try it in something soft and flowery. So this is a layer cake from Moda called Jelly and Jam from Fig Tree and Company. All we need is this, and we're gonna use a light background, and we're gonna see how the quilt turns out. One of the things I love best about Cozy Quilt Designs patterns is that they have multiple sizes. We've got a lap, a big throw, a queen, and a king. And I'm gonna make the large throw, so I'm gonna need 38 of the layer cake squares. So that's almost all of them. I'm just gonna pull out the really, really light ones. We'll pull out these guys. We're going to be cutting the layer cake squares into two different sizes. So I'm gonna pull out some of the squares and they'll be cut in quarters and that's for these bigger sections here. So I'm gonna pick out the bolder prints, the prints that have a larger scale because I think those will look nice in the big squares. Everything is cut now, and here's what we need for the first block. We need the center square. We need two of these that match. We need one of each size of the white background, and now we'll go to the machine. Here's how the block gets put together. And it always feels a little funny when you have just pieces and there's no seam allowances because it doesn't look like the pieces are going to fit. But of course, this is going to be overlapped a little, then that's going to overlap, then that will fit, and those pieces will fit. So let's start with these first two. The pattern has us iron all the seam allowances away from the center. So we've got that piece there. Now this one will fit on there exactly. I always like to put it back in place to make sure I know what goes where. This one's going to go next. And then before we sew these pieces on, we've got to stitch them together. We'll press this seam allowance toward the green and I'm just finger pressing right now, and that will work good enough until the whole block is done. Now when we put these together, we've got those seam allowances going in opposite directions, so it's gonna lay nice and flat, and it's very easy to match the intersection. That is the entire block. All I'm gonna do is make a bunch of these blocks and then we'll be ready to lay the quilt out. All the blocks are done. The layout is very easy. These are going to be all on point. So I'm not going to worry about the colors right now. I'm just going to lay out five blocks across and then six blocks up. There, that's all of the blocks. And now what I'll do is stand back and make sure I don't have too much of one color in one spot. I'm thinking there's quite a bit of the red, which is pretty prominent, showing here. Got a couple others I will trade around. But once I've got it all laid out, then I'm ready to add the side setting triangles. 
So that's these bigger ones here. They will go around all the edges here. And then we've got the corner triangles. They're the smaller ones that go in all four corners. That's all of the pieces. Still gonna trade some colors around. And one thing I usually do is take a picture of it with my phone because on my phone I can tell real easily if there's too much of one color in one spot. It's pretty easy to sew all the blocks together. That's the first row. That's the second row. This is the third row here. Once you get all the rows done, stitch them all together and then add the borders. So for the borders, I've got options here. My binding is cut the same width as my border. So one of these will be binding and one of these will be the inside border. So sometimes I will lay these out and audition them. So do I like the green border better? Or do I like the peach border better? I actually think the green is gonna frame it much more nicely, it's much more vivid. And then we'll use this for the binding. So the binding will end up showing just a little teeny bit here. And I think those colors will look really good. So I'm gonna finish it up and get it loaded onto the quilting machine. The quilt is all loaded up and I've got four choices of threads that I think would look good on here. This is pretty much the same green that I've got in the Patrick up there. It actually will blend in pretty well. That is an option. This is a nice taupe like we've got in the borders. That's gonna show some, not a whole lot. We've got this nice coral. That will not show at all in the light. It's just gonna make a little bit of a shadow. And they've got a darker coral. Hmm. I don't think there is a wrong choice here, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit more distinct. I think we'll use the bright green. For the quilting pattern, I'm using one called Just Roses. It's pretty dense in some parts, so I'm gonna make it really big. Here's what it looks like. Just one repeat of it. So there's a lot of quilting in these little parts, but I think it'll look really good and there's roses all over these fabrics. So this should be a good choice. I've got the three layer cake all done. And I'm very happy how it turned out in these light, soft, flowery colors. I actually wasn't sure when I saw the quilting machine going with the green thread, if it was gonna be a little bit too dark. But now that the whole quilt is done, it really doesn't bother me at all. And I kind of like seeing these big flowers and I love seeing those leaves there. So that was something a little bit different for me. I used a pretty big scale on the print here, I mean on the quilting pattern, so it didn't make it too, too stiff. On the back, I used a matching floral print. That looks very pretty with it. And let's see what size this is. I used, I made the large throw, so it's 74 by 86, but we do have a smaller and a couple of bigger sizes, so there's plenty of different sizes you can make from this pattern. Thanks so much for watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it. We have a lot of fun making the videos and making the quilts, and we're really happy we get to share it with so many people. Now at the end of every video, we do a giveaway. Today we're giving away a quilt called Slice of Cake. The pattern is from Me and My Sister Designs, and it's made with layer cake squares. The fabrics are from Moda. They're one of the Project Joy collections. It's got a really nice stripy back. It's very easy to enter the giveaways. All you have to do is click the link right below this video that says giveaway. 
and all you have to do is enter your name and your email address and you might be the lucky winner. Now if you like our tutorials and you want to support us, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. That really helps us out. Happy quilting!